In this video we will see what is the difference between Java and C++. I hope this video will be helpful to all. Thank you. Both Java and C++ support object-oriented programming, yet there are differences between them. To begin with, Java is a pure object-oriented programming language. On the contrary, C++ supports both procedural and object-oriented programming. Therefore, it is called a hybrid language. Java does not support pointers, templates, unions, operator overloading, structures etc. Java supports what it calls references. References act a lot like pointers in C++. But you can perform arithmetic on pointers in Java. References have types, and their types safe. It cannot be interpreted as raw address and unsafe conversion is not allowed. C++ supports structures, unions, templates, operator overloading, pointers and pointer arithmetic. Java support automatic garbage collection. It does not support destructors as C++ does. Java does not support conditional compilation and inclusion. C++ support destructors, which is automatically invoked when the object is destroyed. Conditional inclusion is one of the main features of C++. Java has built-in support for threads. In Java, there is a thread class that you inherit to create a new thread and override the run method. C++ has no built-in support for threads. C++ relies on non-standard third-party libraries for thread support. Java does not support default arguments. There is no scope resolution operator in Java. The method definitions must always occur within a class. C++ supports default arguments. C++ has scope resolution operator which is used to define a method outside a class and to access a global variable. There is no go to statement in Java. The keywords constant and go to are reserved, even though they are not used. Java doesn't provide multiple inheritance. C++ has go to statement. However, it is not considered good practice to use of go to statement. C++ does support multiple inheritance. Exception handling in Java is different because there are no destructors. Also, in Java, try, catch must be defined if the function declares that it may throw an exception. While in C++, you may not include the try, catch even if the function throws an exception. Java has method overloading, but no operator overloading. String class does use the plus and plus equals operators to concatenate strings and string expressions use automatic type conversion. C++ supports both method overloading and operator overloading. Java has built-in support for documentation comments. Source files can contain their own documentation, which is read by a separate tool usually Java doc and reformated into HTML. C++ does not support documentation comments. Java is interpreted for the most part and hence platform independent. C++ generates object code and the same code may not run on different platforms. There are many other subtle differences and similarities in Java and C++. Here, we included the major ones. Hope you have enjoyed reading differences between Java and C++. Bye bye.